Hey guys, welcome back. Have some more fan footage for you today, sent in by Evo from New York. So uh, this is the Randall Island crit. I have uh, I have another special guest with me today, back from last video at Gas Station Food Cyclist. Welcome back. Howdy. How's it going, Jeff? Good, man. Good to have you on. I wish you were here in, uh, in the studio, but uh, we are practicing social distancing, so. That is true. We are following uh, Governor Gavin Newsom's orders and... Uh, we're doing a Zoom video conference right now, which is actually quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Better than yeah. nothing. There's a silver lining after all. Yeah. <laughs> What's your bevy tonight? Oh, uh, I'm going with the LaCroix uh, Apricot. I think it's one of the most underrated flavors. Hate on me. Uh, post a nasty comment down below. I don't care. I won't. I'm a fan. I like that choice. And um, my, my video sponsor today is, is brought to you by Charles Shaw. Two Buck Chuck. Thank oh. you, Trader Joe's. Appreciate there that. There you go. Trader Joe's fancy. Okay, let's get into this race. So, this is going to be a, sh uh, a sh short and sweet one today, guys. Evo sent in this footage. It's, it's a Randall's Island crit. Like I said, this is the Cat 4 field. Evo's come with, with uh, three teammates, Road Rash Racing. Sent me some notes. Thanks for that. This is a cool course, man. Uh, Chris, Christopher and I took, took a look at this course. and This looks like a lot of fun. Look at how technical this is right here. Super narrow road. Yeah, I... Evo was saying in his notes to us that he doesn't consider himself uh, like a very good technical rider. And honestly, it's like, this is a really technical course. It's, it's highly like tight turns. It's pretty narrow. There's not a whole lot of banking on the, the road. Man, Evo, if, if you think you're not a good technical rider, I just think <laughs> like, don't, don't beat yourself up to, too much. Like I, I think I would probably cook a few of these corners a little too hot myself. So yeah. And we're, like I said, we're coming in, we're coming into one to go here. This is a slightly longer course. You can see the, the backside is a tailwind. This is the, f the finishing leg is a crosswind. And one important thing about Evo here, he says in his notes is he's a, he's a, a big boy. He's a six, 495 pounds comes from rowing. So he has not necessarily good 30 second just missing the jogger right there <laughs> <laughs> jogger on course he doesn't have great sprint power uh he was being modest in his notes but with his rowing background he has pretty amazing uh one like one to three minute power that sort of thing vo2 max power and i want to point out something he did right there he found himself on the front on the last lap which Unless you're attacking or sprinting, it's not really good position to be in. Just like being too far back, you don't want to be too far forward. And he keeps it in his pants. A lot of people panic, like what these guys are doing right now. And people just start immediately sprinting and going really hard when it's way too early for that. And he kept in his pants, he chilled, he slotted back, and now he's in really good position. And he's keeping himself in really good position. Yeah, he has an escape route. He has a, a route to attack. Uh, he kind of got swarmed there where it opens up a little bit, but it not too bad, you know? Like, he, he was able to keep that power on and uh, keep his position. Yeah, and I and I haven't seen any of his teammates, so I think at this point um, his teammates are either dropped or, you know, out of position, and I think what he needs to do smartly is he needs to race for himself right now and, and check out what he does right here. Does this attack... Off the front, carries speed past the front rider. I've talked about this being really important. And now an interesting thing, thing happens right here. His, his power drops down a little bit. And you can see his shadow. He looks back. And I think right there he's like, oh, oh shit, I have a gap. And then he, he steps on it. <laughs> yeah. He also kind of launched at the perfect moment where there was a guy at the front who didn't really want to be there and was kind of looking the opposite direction to see if anyone was going to come through that way. And for a guy who says he's not good at these technical corners and he's really good at, like, three minute power like the timing couldn't have been better on this like i really got to praise him for having like the the best timing possible through the technical section like you said the front riders were slowing down he came slingshotting past them and now look he gets to take these technical corners and narrow roads all by himself as yeah he gets to take them exactly how he wants to take them which is something like i highly recommend if you're not really confident about your line through there um through like a certain section is maybe taking it at the front so you can get the best possible line choice he does exactly that and and this is just such a well-deserved win i love seeing these wins that like aren't you know a solo breakaway or like a sprint this is like a really cool unique way to win and he what he did is he capitalized on his strength so Big kudos to him um, yeah. for, for taking the dub, man. That was awesome. Yeah, I mean, they they must have been nipping at his heels, like, coming into the finish. But, I mean, he, he solidified that through the most technical section. Uh, 
you know, saying that he wasn't that great of a technical writer, you know, he took advantage of that by giving himself the time and space to be able to put his uh, power down as he sees fit and then also taking his best possible line choice. Yeah, and you got to think, when you're carrying speed through that, that hairpin section with, you know, whatever, 250 meters to go at the top of that little hill, you're not really pedaling through those corners because you're just you're taking ripping lines through those corners. Yeah. And think of that as a rest. So even though he went from a kilometer to go into a headwind, like still there's a lot of, of time in there to rest. Smart move. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I can't compliment this guy enough for making a, the race play in his favor. So uh, again, congrats on the win. Thanks for coming on, Christopher, and uh, see you guys in the next one. 